on these really hot days, you could do some really cool experiments. We're putting ice, glitter, baby oil into water, and it's really cool. We're learning about melting and liquid density. You could see the oil coming down and the glitter kind of sticking in those oil pools. So I asked some area moms that they could do some weather experiments with their kids. Take a look. I'm gathering the broken crayon pieces, and we're gonna do a project outside, and hopefully if we can draw with it. Okay, let's gather. And let's put it in. Go and uh, leaving one and there. Well, let's see what happens in an hour. This is what happened so far. It's almost done melting. It's working. All set to let the sun do its work. It's been about an hour and the crayons are starting to melt. After two and a half hours, it didn't really melt anymore. We think we waited too late in the day to do it. Actually, Crayola crayons will soften at about 105 degrees and they'll melt from 120 to about 147 degrees. So it's hot outside, but is it hot enough to fry an egg on the sidewalk? Let's find out. It's really hot. Oh. Well, it really is hot, but it's not that hot. And a concrete sidewalk really isn't the best conductor of heat. Eggs need to cook on a surface that's about 160 degrees. And some metal surfaces can get that hot, so you really don't wanna to be touching that with your bare hands. So I have an experiment that really works, and it's a really good way to cool you off. Cornstarch, water, and food coloring. So we're gonna mix these up. And we have different the, food coloring. Put them in the ice tray with sticks and then hopefully this afternoon we'll have ice chalk and it works doesn't it well this one you always loud i'm making all red ones say happy summer happy happy summer. our ice chalk is all melted the only thing left to do when it's a hundred degrees outside i'm swimming